Hello, I'm Random Minji, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of VidCoder. Just boot it up here. Now, VidCoder is a tool that can uh, rip DVDs and Blu-rays, and also convert video into a format that uh, your tablet or smartphone can play. Uh, now, what you see here is we've got uh, several ways of loading the video in. You can pick a video file from your computer. Uh, you can load in a, a DVD or Blu-ray directly or you can load in a DVD or Blu-ray folder if you've copied it to your computer already. We're just going to load up this DVD here and uh, after it scans we see that we've got uh, several choice of titles. You can pick what video range you want. Uh, you can pick the audio track that you want to encode with. You can add subtitles. Uh, you can also edit the uh, encode destination directly. And you can also get an instant preview of what the video will look like uh, with the preview button and uh, you can uh, actually encode a small chunk of the video uh, very quickly to get a good sense of what it will look like the final product uh, without having to encode the whole thing which is useful and uh, back over here we've got the encoding settings uh, if you want you can just uh, click on just use a preset over here if you've got one of these devices or just use high profile if you've got a PC or you can delve deeper uh, into the specific settings. I've got a container, uh, MP4 and MKV. You can edit the picture, uh, change the uh, size and see it reflected back in the preview window. Uh, mess with the cropping, uh, add some video filters, a decomb for dealing with deinterlacing, grayscale encoding. Uh, you've also got some basic video settings, uh, the video codec, uh, the quality target, which is a really important one over here. You can also mess with the uh, audio, the the encoder, the, uh, the quality with the bit rate, you can change the volume with gain. Uh, there's some advanced settings here for if you really want to get into the nitty-gritty of X264. But let's just start the encode over here. We'll only do the first uh, 35 seconds so we can see it complete. Start it up and see the uh, job details here, the progress. Uh, you've got the uh, estimated time to completion and you can also pause the encode which is useful if you want to use your computer for something else uh, for a little while. I can resume it and when it completes uh, we should see a nice summary of the uh, completion uh, with the elapsed time here and you can just double click this to play your final video file and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching the video and have fun with VidGoder.